My name is Dick Westbay, and I have been associated with King's Fair ever since it started. I was responsible for getting the research started, and I have attended every fair since we began in 1979. Our fair is based on the fair of 1880. The fair of 1880 was located in the Seward neighborhood. We discovered it when we were studying the history of Seward neighborhood, and so we decided to organize a fair based on the fair of 1880. The early fair was located, and I can give you the exact dimensions, from 30th Avenue to 24th Avenue, between Franklin Avenue and East 24th Street. And so if you want to see this map, you come to the history tent and you will see that our fair of today is the same location as the fair of 1880. Now what consisted of the fair had, uh, was a regular fair with horses and animals, horticulture, and uh, many other common ordinary things that you typically associate with uh, a fair. The original fairgrounds was organized by the Horse Breeders Association and the Agriculture Association. And they hired William S. King to be the president of the association and the planning of King's Fair. King himself was a very popular and successful person. He bred horses. He owned land. He was a politician. He helped start the Minneapolis uh, Tribune and, and Star Paper. When William S. King was the president, he was so successful in bringing money and people into his fair that the common ordinary people called it King's Fair and people traveled long distances and many of them came by train. In fact, the train created a spur to the very edge of our King's Fair of 1880. Now, why were so many people enticed to come to uh, King's Fair? Well, all the county fairs tried to outperform each other, but King put a particularly and strong emphasis on horse racing, particularly women horse racing. He also planned a hot air balloon, and one year they planned to go to Boston, Massachusetts, but only traveled a few miles into Wisconsin before the wind died and the balloon came tumbling down. William S. King brought a lot of success to his fair. Lots of people, lots of money, lots of well-known people. President Hayes came here. It was highly successful, but there was competition with the state fair. And eventually this fair ended. For the fair of today, we will not have a horse racing around a track, or a hot air balloon floating in the sky, or a U.S. president speaking to the crowds. Instead, we will have lots of fun and pleasure. There will be eating food, listening to music, talking to neighbors and friends, doing art, crafts, games. So we strongly encourage you to come to King's Fair this coming Saturday, September 17th, from noon to five. And if you come, come to the history tent and learn about Seward history. I encourage you to come. Thank you.